Today we're going to be taking a look at how to fill up a balloon from the outside using a vacuum cleaner and a bucket, and then filling the balloon with a bunch of things that wouldn't normally fit inside a balloon. Normally when you inflate a balloon, you're increasing the pressure inside the balloon and not doing anything to the pressure outside it. Well, today we'll build a device that lets us do the opposite. We will decrease the pressure outside the balloon while leaving the pressure inside the balloon the same. We should get the exact same effect causing the balloon to inflate even though the mouth of the balloon will be completely wide open. Here is the basic plan. The bucket should act as a sort of vacuum chamber to the outside of the balloon. When we pull all the air out of the bucket, the low pressure should cause the balloon to expand. To start off, we're going to need a large bucket, a plastic container with a decently wide mouth, and we're also going to be using this plastic ball valve. If you don't want to use this, it's not 100% necessary, but I think it should make it easier. This container is what we're going to use to attach our balloon onto the bucket lid. So the first thing we have to do is cut the top off of the container so it can be attached to the bucket. We now need to attach this container top onto our bucket. And to do that, we want to cut a hole in our bucket the same size as the neck, fit it up through the bucket lid from the bottom, and then glue it in place with some hot glue. There we go. Our little mouth is now in place, so let's glue it on with our hot glue gun. In addition to attaching this piece onto the bucket lid, we also want to try and make an airtight seal going all the way around. If it's not perfect, it should still work. It just won't work quite as well. We'll have this hole where the balloon goes and where we can then put other things inside of the balloon while it's inflated. Next up, we need to add a spot that lets us pull all of the air out. And for that, we've got this PVC ball valve. We're just gonna drill a hole the right size for the valve and then glue this in place down at the bottom of the bucket. Now you can make this work without adding a valve. You can cut a hole into the bottom and hold the vacuum hose up to it. It will suck the air out, that will inflate the balloon. But if you want to be able to do anything, you're gonna to have to leave the hose attached to the side of the bucket with the vacuum running. Otherwise the pressure will equalize and the balloon will just shrink again. With the ball valve glued in place and the opening in the lid, we should be able to start vacuuming this out. Let's give it a quick try and just make sure that our airflow is doing what we want it to. Oh yeah. Now what we need to do is stretch this balloon neck all the way around this opening that we added into our lid. At this point, if we attach the vacuum onto our valve down here at the bottom, it's gonna start pulling air out of the bucket. And when that happens, there will be low pressure in the bucket and normal atmospheric pressure inside the balloon. Normally atmospheric pressure is equal to or less than what's inside a balloon. If you're not blowing into it, it's equal. If you are blowing into it, it's less. But we're going to alter the setup so that what's inside the balloon at atmospheric pressure is still higher than what's around it. And that should cause it to inflate. See if we can get this to inflate. Beautiful. So the vacuum pulled all the air out and while it was pulling, I turned the valve and we now have our balloon inflated inside the bucket even though the top of the balloon is wide open. The mouth of the balloon is completely open. Look at this. I can stick my arm down inside the balloon with no resistance. Now this is pretty cool and it's working really well. However, there is a modification I want to make and this isn't something that you need to do if you're building one of these. This is just so we can see it better. I wanna put a window into the side of this bucket so we can check out what's going on. This is an acrylic sheet that I just melted a little bit with a heat gun to give it a little bit of curve. Now we're gonna cut a hole in the side of the bucket and then we are going to use some very strong tape to attach this here. And again, this is not a functional aspect of the build. This is just so we can watch what's happening inside the bucket. We've got our window. Let's 
reattach our lid. Now that we can see what's going on inside the bucket, let's try this again. that you can actually see the window through the balloon. This balloon when fully inflated, which it's definitely not inside the bucket, it should be almost three feet in diameter. So let the air back in and watch this thing shrink. And I can stop it by putting my hand on it. I can open it all the way and it just shrinks quickly. Let's blow that back up, close the valve again. One of the interesting things about blowing a balloon up like this, and of course leaving the opening open, is that you can then put other things inside the balloon. Like I could blow up another full-size balloon inside this balloon. Or if I wanted, I can put some other things and I'm gonna actually try and create a little design that will go inside the balloon. After it's finished, I'll take the neck of the balloon off of the top of the bucket. All of the extra air will rush out, of course, as the seal is broken. Then I'll remove the balloon with the stuff inside it and then I'll blow the balloon the rest of the way up so we have a big clear balloon with stuff inside it. So let's give this a shot. We'll start with a bunch of water balloons. Just gonna start throwing these in. These are only held closed by rubber bands, almost always enough for water, but for air, it can sometimes leak out. Next up, we've got a shark. We're gonna try and fit the shark down in. Now, obviously the shark is a, uh, well, he's not gonna fit in like that. So we're gonna have to squish him a good bit. But before we do that, there's another modification I think we need. Sharks with freaking lasers on their heads. Normally I would have to do something to modify it so I was constantly pushing down the button, but this laser pointer was really, really cheap and I don't think it was very well made because it just stays on all the time as long as there are batteries in it. I'm not sure if hot glue is what Dr. Evil had in mind for attaching the lasers to the shark's heads, but it works for us. Such a happy shark with a laser on his head. Fortunately, the shark is quite squishy. Okay, I think that'll do it. This thread is attached to the shark's head and we're gonna actually leave that outside of the balloon because that's what we're gonna try and use to suspend the shark right where we want it. Now we're gonna let some of the air back in. Ooh, that's starting to push the shark out. Okay, instead of that, we're just gonna take our balloon neck and peel it back up over the mouth here. <laughs> so we've now got a shark and a bunch of compressed balloons inside a bigger balloon. We want to blow the bigger balloon back up and we're gonna use a pump to do that rather than breath because breath has a lot of moisture in it and we want it to stay nice and clear on the inside. <laughs> there is our shark with the freaking laser on its head floating around in its blue balloon water. Very cool, blowing up a balloon from the outside and filling it with all sorts of things. But I did get another idea while I was filling this up. You know, I used all of these water balloons and I just blew them up with air. I gotta try filling a balloon with water balloons that are actually full of water. Uh, so yeah, let's try that. I'm gonna end up with some extra water just at the bottom of this balloon, but that's okay. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, like I was saying, the extra water that kind of sprays out is definitely surrounding all of them. So it's like a water balloon full of smaller water balloons at this point. Try and pick it up. Hopefully it doesn't just pop. Oh, there we go. Three, two. <laughs> that worked better than I thought. I thought a lot of the smaller balloons would survive, but I only see like one, maybe two that didn't explode. So just what I was hoping for. How to make a giant water balloon grenade? 
uh, compound water balloon. I don't know what to call it, but it was really fun. Bucket with a valve and a vacuum lets you inflate a balloon from the outside. By lowering the pressure around the balloon, the atmospheric pressure inside the balloon is enough to push it open. Very cool stuff. Guys, thanks for watching. We've got more for you to see though. That box at the top will take you directly to our last video. You should go check that out. The box at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching now. And this bomb in the middle is how you subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on the fun. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.